Hi everybody, we're getting into the weeds a little bit with this video, but if you've started to spawn in custom locations in Daisy, custom structures, especially on console, um, using the uh, cfggameplay.json file along with the object spawner array um, to create a, uh, a custom JSON that spawns in things like military tents. If you then want to spawn in loot in those tents, you've then get to you got to add them to the map group pros.xml. Um, and in the mad map group pros.xml, you'll find you know you have your position, so you have your x, y, z, um, and then you'll have your r, p, y, your roll, pitch, and your values. So how the the building is uh, orientated. Um, and then also you'll then have an a value which can be a bit of a mystery and you might not be sh quite sure how to how to work it out so position is fairly simple as it? it's x y z so x and z are kind of across and up and down the map and y is your altitude and then um roll is pi and roll pitch and you also roll Imagine you're an aeroplane and you're rolling. So roll is kind of if a building was tipping over one way or the other uh, to side to side. And pitch is if it was tipping up and down sort of uh, front to back. And yaw is its actual rotation, how we would tend to think about which way a building is facing. That's its yaw. And a is the yaw as well, but worked out in a different way. Also, before I start, always be aware of the order of the roll, pitch, and yaw, because different parts of DayZ have it in different um, uh, orders. So always be careful and make sure you you don't get in your roll mixed up with your yaw. Um, so, for example, in your files, it will go uh, in your custom location uh, JSON. It goes yaw, pitch, roll. And also, if you're using uh, the Daisy editor from uh, Increment Dab, and you export to a map group pos.xml, it actually puts them in the wrong order. It says they're roll pitch your, but they're not. They're still your pitch roll in his one. Okay, so back to the ta task in hand. How do we figure out what the A value is? Well, the A value is is the degrees uh, that the building is facing. But it's worked out in a different way in the fact that it's out of kilter from the your value by 90 degrees and also it goes in the opposite direction. So this makes it a bit complicated. So what I've done is I've actually created a spreadsheet okay, that, that works this out for you. So all you need to do is you put in the, the y value that you've got. The, the your value and then depending on what the original y value was it will then give you the answer now to get hold of this spreadsheet you click on the link in the description below this video it takes you to my github and there's two versions of it there's a open um, document spreadsheet and there's an xlms version you know for for excel so to get hold of it you just click on the code button download the zip extract the file and then open it in your favorite spreadsheet editor if you've got google docs just upload it to google docs and uh, google drive sorry uh, upload it to google drive and then it'll open it in google sheets and that will then give you this so let, let's and what i've done is i've also given you some test examples as well so you can kind of have a play to see how it works these things here so for example if our y value is 7.86 so if we put in and i'd recommend you copy and paste these but i'm just going to write them 7.86 so we type that now if y was a positive value we should get an answer of 82.14 so well y was a positive value so that we can see that that is correct it's worked if we put in another positive value here so if we put in 158.87 point, point again if a uh, if y was a positive value, we should get an answer of my, minus 68.87, which you can see we get. Now, where it gets more complicated where, is where you have negative values from y. So if you go into your map group pos, you'll know some of these, some of these um, your values are, are negatives. Like there's a negative one there. So minus. Now, make sure that when you do get these, you put the whole value in, including the minus. So we've got some some minus examples here so that you can look at so 
if we have a, a, a negative uh, your value of minus 27.5, you come across here and it says if y was less than minus 90 degrees, the answer will be 117.5. So you can see that is correct. But let's try another one where it's over. So let's say it's minus 168.132. So the box we look on is this box here. So if y was over minus negative, which it was, it was minus 168, the answer is minus 101.868. So there you go. So that would be the A. So these are the A values, and then you take those A values and you put them at the end. So you, you should end up with values that are a lot less. So you'll have group name, map, for example, land, mill, tent, big four, position, so X, Y, Z, roll pitch, your, of that, that, and that, and then your A value would be one of these. If you're ever not quite sure and want a little bit of practice, just go, before you put your values into your map group XML, go down to any of the existing lines and just punch in a few things. So for example, let's go down to a random one. So let's go to, so here we go. So we've got, we'll choose a negative one because negative ones are the interesting one. So here we go. So we've got a negative 27.6. In fact, have we already done that one? Yeah, we have. <laughs> <laughs> let's go down further let's go down let's find a couple of negatives so there's a negative so negative 122 should lead to a, a value of negative 147 so let's have a look so the the value is negative 122 um so if y was over negative 90 degrees which it is because it's negative 102 the answer should be negative 148 and we can see there it is negative 148. So let's go down to another one. Let's go down to, uh, so, here we, so here we got another one. So negative 47. So let's go back to negative 47. So we put that as negative 47. And if y was less than negative 90 degrees, which it is, it's negative 47. The answer should be 137. As we can see, it's 137. So there we go. So again, I would recommend have a little bit of a practice with the spreadsheet first. Put in the test examples of why so that you can and then you'll understand which box to look at when you get the answer out. And that will then help you work out the A value from your, your pitch and rotation. And I'll say it again. Just remember, make sure you get your, your pitch and rotation around the right way because some files it's ypr sometimes it's rpy and also remember that as i said at the moment in the daisy editor from implement dab when you export a map group pos uh, xml uh, i'm pretty sure it puts them in the wrong order the the, the the kind of sense check you should always do to know whether it's going to be right or not is that your um uh, your rotation value will generally be uh, could be quite large but your your and pitch values for buildings are never very big because the buildings in daisy they're never leaning over that much are they or pitching backwards and forward that much so if you see a roll value of my of 120 you know that that's not correct that's a your value you know, because because they they're never on the hills. That the the buildings tend to be built fairly true in Daisy. Um, so and the pitch, you know, they're never pitching over to one side that much. So the biggest value, generally, if it's a big value, it must be the your value. It must be the Y value. So if the Y is if there's a big value at the front, sort of above thirty or forty percent, that is definitely the the Y value. And if it's the end, it's definitely the the Y value. Right, there we go. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, hit like if you want to see more of the same, press subscribe, and I will, of course, see you again soon.